So first we arrived uh, by plane to Charlotte Amélie, uh, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Then we uh, took a ferry from um, Charlotte Amélie to uh, Tortola, road town Tortola, which is in British Virgin Islands. It took us about 45 minutes to get from Charlotte Amelie to Road Town Tortola. The weather was great. So this is a it's called Right Way Supermarket. And uh, so this is the place uh, where we buy provisioning for the boat. Uh, this is, looks like a, what the native uh, British Virgin Islanders look like. Um, you see the gas station. The guys are driving on the left side of the road, but for some reason, like they have the steering wheel uh, on the, uh, also on the left side. We're uh, on the way to our uh, chartered catamaran. Um, it's called VVI version island uh, yacht charter and so we do chart catamarans and uh, monohull sailboats um, and there you can see there's some chickens running around the street um, as far as traffic here I was told nobody stops here for pedestrians, so you have to watch out. So they drive here real fast and honking a lot. Um, but uh, otherwise, seems to be all right. Here's our uh, chartered Lagoon 38 catamaran. Uh, 38 means it's 38 feet long. It has three cabins, uh, two smaller cabins uh, that sleep two people, and then one uh, larger cabin, which probably still sleeps two people, but it has its own bathroom. So it has two bathrooms. This is considered one of the smaller catamarans. As, uh, a lot of those catamarans, they actually uh, come in larger sizes, uh, such as uh, over 40 feet and some are over 50 feet.
leaving Rotan behind and starting our 10-day trip around British Virgin Islands. is the island so we just uh, docked about an hour ago as you can see our catamaran sent blue um, I think it's the uh, the third one uh, from the left you see there So really, really nice weather. We went through some uh, some little uh, sun shower on the way here. So Leverick Bay, uh, Virgin Gorda, British Virgin Islands. This beautiful place called the Bath, and it's one of the attractions on the island. Yeah, I think, oh, we I, I think we made it to that last time, but yeah, we're still here. I wasn't filming. So he, he also uh, grow, has a vegetable garden he grows. And uh, he sells vegetables, but he delivers them to the boats. I don't know if that's the same guy. Okay, well, I will. The local art studio we admired uh, the um, iron fireballs that are made from old buoys.
dancing was kind of cool. And I think uh, she also works at the local art studio too. British Virgin Islands is the charter capital uh, of the world for uh, chartering catamarans and uh, monohulls. This is the place to come if you want to charter one. And we are on Cane Garden Bay. So we're gonna check it out, walk around, maybe go try some rum. There's a rum distillery here. We noted a lot of uh, chicken running around. I wonder if they eat them. But chickens look pretty happy. This is ancient rum factory drums. Mm -hmm. Once that sugar cane juice is boiled, we take that, we ferment it for 25 days. After it ferments, it becomes a wine, and then we take that wine, and then we send it over here to be boiled again. So inside this four big pots, this is how one of the pot looks. Four big iron pots like that, throw the juice. So that boiler is more just like to concentrate it and help mm -hmm. the fermentation. And they mostly use those for like, if you're gonna make the sugar and the molasses, but we don't really take it that far, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to concentrate it a little bit. We are giving a tour of the oldest rum distillery on the island, still functioning after 400 years. So what we do is use all the scrap pallets and stuff as a fuel to heat it. Once it gets hot, it starts vapor. The vapor becomes the alcohol, which it goes into a water system. It cools the vapor down, and that's where it comes in as the rum. It comes in over like 150 to about 200 proof. So we add the water, we dilute it down to like 40 percent because it's just too strong, you know, straight up alcohol. Longer term it stays there, that's what this color with a nice caramel flavor taste with four years, ten years. Ten years is the oldest and smoothest one. Okay. For like sipping, you know, you put some in your coffee in the morning, you know. See how my camera is sideways. And this, one. And this one has it for six years, this one has it. The sugar cane inside is more sweet, it's not really pure. Okay. So nice after dinner drink. This is the one they say if you guys have trouble with the ladies taking the clothes off, it's the panty drop over. Ah. <laughs> uh, this one is aged for eight years, this one has a herb inside of it, it's called Mama Wana. It's very popular in the deer, especially like on the island. Uh, this is if you have trouble with the guy getting up, it's like a Viago for him. Uh -huh. Yeah, but they say it's all 40% because they say it's all from sugar cane, it's no molasses, it's guaranteed, no headaches, no hangovers when you drink. All it does is knock you out, that's all it does. Sure. Yeah, so I said most people they just use the molasses to make the rum, but this is all natural. So molasses cause most of your headaches and hangovers in drinking rum. So this is the first one you're going to try. This is four years, this is a shooting rum. I just sip and run. So you go ahead and shoot it back. So number one, four years. I think I have that on my boat, a bottle. Of oh, the four years old? I think so. What kind is this? It's four this years. One. Four, four years. years. 
All right. What do you think? Later, we sailed to just Van Dyke Island. Going for a hike uh, at little uh, Joost Van Dyke Island. So our sailboat, actually catamaran, called Saint Blue. It's right over there, as you see. So one of those, and we're going on a hike. There's a clear sign of volcanic activity. All the dried lava. Right there. Magma. But it's dry. And it's green in the background. The mansion yield trees should be poisonous. What do you mean should be? It is. I guess we'll find out. No, okay. I guess we won't. Wait, but where are those apples? They eaten them all. The tourists eaten them all. No, they should look like. Why do you think they will belly up now? Harbor. Um, on Tortola Island. So we're just uh, preparing the lines now. It's a cemetery, right? Eh? Yeah.
we're doing a tack. The boom is about across to the other side. lots of wind little stroll around our own town Tortola while waiting for our ferry back to uh, Charlotte Emily on St. Thomas. Last night on uh, Virgin Islands, we spent in this cool hotel overlooking the bay um, with pretty cool cats running around. Um, the building actually was a Russian embassy back in the 19th century. So we're uh, back to Charlotte Amelie. This is a, a view from our hotel. It's called Olga's Fancy. Nice place, that's the Charlotte Amelie Harbor. And uh, here we Walking through 
through downtown Charlotte, I'm away. So this is uh, Charlotte Amelie. Uh, the harbor behind the uh, ferry building where we arrived. It's over there. So we we're working. Uh, from our hotel in Charlotte, I'm Lee to look something for something to eat. There's a yacht harbor here. I remember that song. Remember yeah, it's clicking, clicking halyards or something, clicking gates to the left. Brewery, so we just ordered uh, local beer there, uh, made in uh, St. Thomas. Uh, I had a lager and then I had a blonde. Yeah, look who is here. spotted uh, an iguana pretty much right next to our hotel it looks like she was curious about us and totally unafraid and this is the end of our amazing journey around British Virgin Islands hope you enjoyed cheers <laughs>